yes, there are many things we need to finish. Most of them involve a lot of work, like a full week work and a team. So I'd rather have Orlando and MP there with me to do so. For example, testing the diesel tanks. I know Orlando's been working on it a lot and I wouldn't dare fill up the diesel tanks and start the engine without them being there. So what I'm gonna do now is finish something that I started on a while ago. I kind of made it good, but I wanted to make some improvements and that is the steering system. The steel wires are up there. I've made little brackets so they don't fall down and stuff like that. However, a big change I wanna do is these pulleys over here and now kind of they're screwed into the wall. I want them screwed downwards. So there's a lot of upward pressure and having them at a 90 degree angle screwed into the wall isn't the strongest. So I made this huge, I cut this huge plank here. I just rounded the bottom, which I'm gonna fasten right there and the pulleys are going to be fastened to the top of it. So look at the amount of surface that is here that I'm going to fasten onto the wall. That's probably way too much overkill. But at least now when I fasten these two screws over here downwards, there's going to be a lot of upward pressure and it'll be a lot stronger. So that's what I'm going to work on now. One thing that I want to try now, I should see how I'm going to fasten it here. I think that shouldn't be an issue is before we bought this stainless steel wire, we bought a bunch of Dyneema rope and a thick Dyneema rope as well, which fits in all the pulleys. And I wanted to just take off this stainless steel wire for now and just try it with Dyneema, see what it's like. Uh, that'll be that. I know most of these holes are gonna be filled, but I would like this wall to once and for all, once and for all, be nice. I mean, we're working in here a lot and it's also not nice for you guys to have to look at this. So I'm gonna plug these holes probably fill up any of the gaps here that are remaining and probably put a layer of paint on. Let's see if we can get that done today. And now I just want to go outside to show you one more thing that I'm going to try and get done today. Uh, might even put the steering wheel on again, just to, just for the sake of having the steering system finished. Do you remember the amount of faffing and measuring and adjusting I had to do here on the transom? You can see lots of changes have been made. Initially, the pulley was horizontal. However, it wasn't receiving and sending the pulley well to this ring over here. So I ended up filling it all and putting it at an angle and let's see which one is starboard. And I made these little filling blocks. How does it go again? So it points directly to the quadrant. I'm very good at underestimating the amount of work and underestimating the amount of mistakes I make, which make it a lot longer, but I'm going to start already by, what am I going to do? I'm going to start inside by plugging all the holes and attaching that wooden mount and changing the place of the pulleys. And this is why I don't throw away any material because there's always a time when you need a piece of wood like this to make some small plugs out. Pretty much every hole is filled. I've even filled like any hole that I could find all the way up to there, but that's for later. So I'm just gonna put this in place, click these downwards. And we might do the test with the Dyneema. And then if all is good, then I can start filling anything that's a bit small with a bit of paste and then leave it nice and painted. I'll see if I do the painting today or another day. That's really not a priority. I just wanna get the system finished once and for all. And I think going outside, it's more important to put the pulleys on the transom than actually painting this, because painting can be done on a, well, not a rainy day, but it can be done on any other day.
all in surprisingly well. I've taken the same measurements that were there before and I've just put this on. I went to go and get some new lug screws, like some big ones that fit lengthwise, but however, the only thing is they came in half inch thick, which is overkill for this, but it'll have to do. And don't think I'm gonna countersink it, that's just more work for not even aesthetics, because I'm gonna have to plug it and stuff. He's up there in the wheel and she's going to bring this down to make sure it's all fitting nicely and then I can work on it. Oh, okay, left. So, up a bit. I'm going to leave it like this for now, do all the tests and if it's good before making any other holes. When it's good, I'm going to put two more holes here. First, I'm going to see if I can get this rope attached as a nice, fun test. Nice. Thanks, Amar. Before we can continue, I'm going to pass it around the back, back inside, and then fasten it onto here. But for that, we need to head out and fasten the two pulleys onto the transom properly, for good, once and for all. There we go, another good use for wedges. So I've got these uh, fillers in place, both sides. One thing is it's epoxy, so you have to let it cure, but I'll be back. And then I will clean them up a bit, probably put a layer of primer and paint on quickly with a brush, just because it's very local. I am, for some reason, liking the Dyneema more. I think, I know that size Dyneema is a lot stronger than the size stainless we have which is already a plus also the dyneema won't cause the pulleys to wear as fast and i know that dyneema is super resistant it doesn't have a lot of give in it and it also is very salt waterproof so we might just stick with dyneema which is a bummer because we do have the stainless wire but i'm sure we can use it for some other things so we're gonna let this cure i'll tidy it up and then we might have a completely full rudder system but let's let it cure see you in a bit The epoxy and of the wedges has cured. All of it is now covered in epoxy. There's not a single bit of um, bare wood, at least. No, I don't think there's a single bit of bare wood anymore. So I'm gonna start working on getting those pulleys installed. However, I wanna have a stainless steel tube and that was an idea of one of you guys, or some of you guys, to put this stainless steel tube through the transom so that it's a kind of guide of the stainless, of the Dyneema. Now, that is going to be a bit of a faff because the drill bit that we have is this long, so it's going to be a bit tough to drill through. But once we've got that, I'll measure the size we need of this and seeker flex it into place. Make sure these edges are really nice and rounded so that it doesn't cut any of the wire. And then I can get a nice layer of primer and paint on it and install the pulleys. Very tough angle to drill at. 
And the length of this drill bit's also tough, so I think I'm gonna use a smaller one. It's got way less thread and hopefully it doesn't catch. I don't wanna destroy the drill because when it catches, it spins and it hits it against the beams, which I don't wanna do. We have another big drill here, you've seen it for the keel, but that's even heavier to hold above my head, so I'll see what I can do. Something that should have been easy, which is drilling a hole, of course it's not easy. I'll need someone inside for this, but this is gonna go. Like so, to the other side, then I'll cut it, and that's what the, what Jim would call it. So the rope's gonna go through. Now I can't pull it out. Time for us. I've cut the little tube already. Nice and soft edges so it's not going to cut the Dyneema. Now it's time to use the new Sika or caulking gun. Now I've seen this on internet and I decided to buy one and we're going to see how it works. Yeah. one little stainless tube in place now i think the way i pushed it in there might be some secret flex in the tube but that's not an issue as it's just a piece of rubber i can clean that out later i just wanted to make sure it was nice and sealed and it is what did you think of this caulking gun so as you push the front through it it comes out the back and it slices it in the middle and it's tiny so it can fit in any regular toolbox silly gun not sponsored but it's a new purchase and we love it. You love it? Catch, without getting dirty. Hey. Let's leave that one to cure. I think I'll go over it next with paint and then this one can be done now. I'm gonna make the hole bigger, put the tube through, mark it, cut it, and then cork it. Second tube is ready, it's cut to the right size, to the right angle. I'm gonna glue it in there, or at least cork it in there. Uh, the other one I think is already dry, so I'm gonna start putting this in, and when that's in, I'm gonna start prepping some primer. And then I'll just primer it all already. I mean, it's so hot, all this Seeker Flex dries so fast. And then we can start working on, what's the next step? Primer, paint, and then the pulleys. Now that those are in place, I just need to let them dry a bit. I'm going to make it look a lot nicer. So I'm going to get a chisel, clean up around it, inside it, and get the primer and the paint on. Now it's going to be very cool. So I can really, I'm trying to finish this today. Get these pulleys on. Those. Because once these are on, I can literally forget about that job. And it's like completely finished. I don't need to work on that transom anymore, except for the exhaust. Uh, but next week's gonna be a very cool week because loads of jobs are gonna be started and finished. We're gonna be able to finish loads of the jobs like the shrouds, the cooling system of the engine because we are depending on so many other people now. So if I can finish this today, that means that it's one less thing to think about while working on the other important things to get this boat launched. Yeah, I hear you.
Aham. Uhum. É um cheio só. We've got a layer or a coat of paint on both sides. I'm gonna let it cure or dry. Uh, and then I'll go over with a second layer because you can still see a little bit of gray through it. And then maybe one more on top of that and then we can put the pulleys on. So how much better is that looking than what it was before when I had to change the angle of the pulley and then when I put the wooden block on, which also made it ugly. All right now, it looks so much better. So I think two more coats of paint, try and get in there as well, get everything nice and protected. And then we can work on the next step. That is one with three layers. I think even four layers or coats of paint. And that is the other one. Oopsie, I put a bit too much on there. It's gonna be covered anyway with the pulley, but uh, also four coats of paint. Now I don't know what to do in the meantime. I've thought of a very good thing that we can do while waiting for the paint to dry. And no, the episode is not over yet, but I would like to send a huge welcome to Raymond for joining us on Patreon. Welcome to the crew. Also, Brenda and Timothy, thank you so much for the PayPal donations. It means a lot to us. And James, Ale or Ale, Greg, Duane, Nathan, David, Douglas and Jens for hitting that super thanks button. It means a lot to us. And we do realize you guys who do it very frequently, that means immensely a lot. And no, this isn't the end of the episode yet because we're still waiting for that transom to dry. But have a great new year from me and from MP and the dogs and make 2024 an epic year. And we will do the same. Cheers. Ah. Just go and get yourself some of these work boots. They're really good steel tips. Break time is over, fortunately, unfortunately. Let's head over onto this plank here. I still think we should have a plank on the roof of the boat on the side to send naughty people off. Literally walk the plank. I can pee. But yeah, but the two pulleys here, tape them up. Got more tape to protect. Well, it's white seeker, so you're not really gonna see it. I'm just gonna tape up the rest. Screw them on, pull the wire through, rope through, and done. Now I was very keen on getting it all painted and looking nice, but I forgot to dry test it. Like literally now is the first time, this one goes down. Now is the first time I'm trying it in place. Okay, it does fit. Okay, I was thinking I've fastened it all, I've painted it all, but I didn't like hold it up against there. I know I took the measurements right the first time. Okay, it's, it's good, it's good. How 
Ele do not fall. Meu Deus. Both of these are now in place. Both pulleys with Seeker Flex underneath it and it looks quite clean. I'm not gonna touch it anymore because it's only gonna make it worse. And now I'm piecing the engine room and she's gonna pass me the Dyneema, which should go around here. I'm gonna pass it all the way around, back into the other one and try and fasten it here to do some tests. And uh, when everything's right, we'll just cut it. Probably in the water because I'm assuming we're gonna have to make some changes. Well, no, I'm assuming we won't have to make some changes. But just in case, I'm not going to cut any of the ropes. I'm going to fasten it here, fasten it here. Well, pass it through the other side and then fasten it here. And then uh, we'll have a complete rudder system ready. Okay, MP, you can go. Okay, it's coming through. Not yet. Yeah. I have it. Put it through the hole Initially I wasn't going to cut anything but now I've decided I am because if I were to like cut this much and leave it that's more than enough to play around with later. Same here, I just need to make sure the chain is in the middle and then I can make a semi decent knot for now that we can use long term until we figure out what the actual length is and then I'll properly fasten these. And I'm very happy with this Dyneema actually and I'm feeling my guts are telling me that this is the way to go. It's got, uh, where did I put it? Over here. The Dyneema itself is huge. Can you see? Quite a big Dyneema. And then the casing around it is also quite good, so it protects it for loads of stuff. And can you make sure the steering wheel is in the middle and that the chain's equally as long on both sides? Go. Both pulleys are turning. Here, look. You want to pull that way? That one spins. And that one also spins. So it's nice to know that the pulleys are loose enough. There are better ways of tightening this. Once we launch, I might want it like this is loose ish. I want to be able to like, make adjustments if I want. And this is very easy to do so. Do you think we should attach the steering wheel just to test it again? To wrap this video up? Of course. Of course. Then let's do it. We have done this all before. It was a first test. But of course, you can't wrap up uh, steering video well that actually seeing if it works properly how it feels and also we need to go and um, see inside if nothing there's not too much friction and stuff like that so let's get this on is it spinning yeah look just with the weight of my hand picture the weight of the wheel itself which is why i think they're actually so heavy in both like this it's spinning the entire way there we go. Bring it back to the middle. I mean, maybe like gearbox change we made, which we're so happy about, which made it so light compared to the first time you played it. But I am very, very, very happy with Dyneema. Like, 
and pee. Shall we go and have a look at the rudder to see what it's like? This is the last video of 2023, a year that taught us so many lessons and now we are really keen for 2024 to be the year that we can turn the building page and start the sailing one. We wish you all a happy new year, stay happy and happy. Much love, see you in 2024.